The Sana is the first of Yugo's in-house concepts and a complete breakaway from the previous Fiat 127 derivatives, although it does have a hint of Uno about it. Not surprising, as it was styled by Giorgio Giugiaro, who was responsible for the Uno, as well as, amongst others, the Volkswagen Golf and the Lotus Esprit. It comes as a well-equipped, roomy, five-door hatchback, and at five and a half thousand pounds, it's in the Fiesta, Metro and Nova price bracket. The first thing you notice about the Yugo is the amount of space in the car. It really is in the Escort Cavalier range. A lot of space, and also apparent plushness of the seats. It always has a lot of good modern features. When you turn the ignition on, the check panel illuminates to display areas of the car it monitors, such as brake pad wear and uh, rear lamps. Then, when driving along, anything open, such as a door, it shows up. Although the check panel does show me the door is open, there are a few things missing. It doesn't tell me if I've left the choke out, which is most important these days. Also, there's no clock anywhere in the car, which I found a bit frustrating. The seat belt alignment is comfortable, good for all driving positions, but the seat adjustment needs a very strong grip in order to move it. Not the best. In the rear, plenty of space still, and uh, even with the driver's seat fully back, plenty of leg room. A nice little armrest in the centre provides a bit more luxury, and uh, there's three sets of seat belts, so that really is a genuine five-seater. One major problem, though, is the fact that these child belts or rear belts they're not inertia real, so with all this belt lying around, and they're supposed to hang up, but the uh, hook's already broken. In the boot, again, plenty of space, but one thing, a rather high sill, making it difficult to get heavy bags in. Under the carpet, spare wheel and jack, also, rather nice little toolkit. One thing, however, that could be rather dangerous, especially with young children around, is these rather weak struts, making it a little bit dangerous. Power is from the 1.4 litre, 70 horsepower Fiat Tipo engine. And later this year, they expect to have a 1.6 litre version and automatic transmission. Under the bonnet, spacious simplicity. Obviously, easy to maintain. On the road, the Yugo is surprisingly good. The performance from the 1.4 litre engine is lively and well up to scratch in its class. Acceleration for overtaking good, also high speed cruising. The suspension is quite firm, almost semi-sport suspension. And this gives good handling characteristics, but it's a shame that the steering itself is rather heavy with a rather dead feel, and there won't be any power steering option available. The gear change, again, front wheel drive, slightly spongy, but always a positive location into the gear I want. The controls themselves, I have these paddle switches, fingertip controls, which is rather unusual. Um, the wipers on the right, indeed a rather pleasant single wiper, which I rather like. On the left there's the headlamps, and there is a, a small possibility of occasionally, when you go to indicate right, as happened to me once last night, of knocking all the lights off but uh, that's something I think you'd, you'd soon get used to not doing. On the instrument panel itself, I don't particularly like the five needle matchstick indicators, which look like a mass of artificial horizons, and at one glance, they're all pointing in different directions. So I'm not a particular fan of that. But otherwise, it provides all the information you'd want. The good points about the Yugo Sana are its low cost, the fact that it's well equipped and comes with a 24 months unlimited mileage warranty, as well as a three year anti-corrosion warranty. Working against it are poor attention to detail, that heavy steering and also Group 4 insurance.